What's up, my fellow Kingdom Lords? So again, I'm just doing a quick roundup of all the films that I've been trying to catch up with in preparation for my top 20 of 2022 video. This video is about Babylon that's written and directed by Damien Chazelle. And um, I'm gonna come right out of the gate and say that I very much enjoyed this film. Um, honestly, the trailer had me a bit skeptical and I think that the trailer is kind of unfortunately mismarketing what kind of film this actually is. Uh, because this film is quite boundary pushing in a lot of ways. Like the first 20 minutes or so of this film just really goes all the way for it and it's gonna turn a lot of people off. I mean, I heard of some of my friends in Discord saying that a lot of their audience just completely walked out of the film at that point, which I kind of can understand because the trailer doesn't really market this type of graphic material, if you will. But one thing that I was worried about going into this film was that this is going to be Damien Chazelle uh, you know, kind of just jizzing himself over the film industry and Hollywood. But I didn't, I don't think that's what this film was doing at all, actually. I think that, personally, this film was more of a love letter to the power of cinema and just the art of filmmaking in general, and more of a criticism towards Hollywood and the film industry. I mean, um, not saying that, you know, all this film does is criticize the film industry from start to finish, but there are plenty of scenes that do kind of go out of its way to express what the film industry does to people and why it can bring perfectly great talent down and you know how it can destroy careers out of no fault of their own. And um, I just thought Damien Chazelle for the age that he is, I believe he's 37 years old, but his ability to actually present and create something that's this ambitious is kind of mind blowing. I mean, I know 37 is not the youngest age ever, but his film, you know, has a lot to tackle, not in terms of, you know, not just only in terms of, you know, characters and situations and everything, but just like, again, even the first 30 minutes of this film is a perfect example with these, this giant party sequence that is full of just outright debauchery. Just the amount of choreography and talent it takes to pull something like that off, especially with some of the long take sequences that we get in this film. But overall, I really like the way that this film explored the technological advancements that were happening within the film industry and how rapidly that was moving and how that made it to where the film industry overall and the people that were thriving off of it just had such a huge struggle, especially when it comes to transitioning between silent films and films that had obviously audio and sound. And I think like, again, there's, there's a whole sequence involving uh, Margot Robbie's character as she's trying to capture a scene with actual audio and, Again, it's a very long sequence, but it's such an effective scene. And it seems like that in this film that, you know, really made me appreciate it because not only does it build character, but it demonstrates the thematic elements and the thematic qualities of this film that really hit home with me. And I also really love the score to this film as well. Everybody that's accustomed to Chazelle's filmmaking know that he is an outright stand for jazz music. And he uses a jazz score for this film that I think really, really works because there's this sense of suspense to it but also a sense of playfulness and kind of zaniness to it that i think really works for the material that he's working with and it's also a really nice repeating romantic melody to this film that turns a bit haunting as the film progresses that i also really enjoyed but yeah i mean this is a th over three hour film that feels like an epic that obviously takes a huge inspiration from films like boogie nights even films like the wolf of wall street i mean i would personally describe this film as if The Wolf of Wall Street and Boogie Nights got together and made a monster of a child. I mean, obviously this film stands out very well on its own, but I think there's definitely some inspiration from both of those films. But yeah, I know that this film isn't gonna be for everybody and it's possible that I'm just biased because of my love for film and filmmaking. But um, overall, I did find this film to be really effective and just a blast overall. Again, it's over three hours, but even though you feel the length because it's impossible not to feel a three hour movie, um, you know, I never felt bored. I was always very invested and entertained with what it was going for. And um, yeah, overall, I just really, really dug what this film was able to accomplish. So I'm going to give Babylon a soft nine out of 10. I really, really dug this film quite a bit. And um, I hope everybody else goes out and at least gives this film a shot because it's been bombing in the box office, which uh, is kind of a shame. But Anyway, that's all I got to say about Babylon. If you really enjoy how to say about the film, just give it a thumbs up and share it amongst your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this.